Today I have a very weird player to show you, a challenger player who has taken Lucian and started playing him in the jungle. Lucian is an AD carry, with no CC and terrible jungle clear, so how is a challenger player picking him on his main account and still managing to win games? This role for Lucian on stats websites is so unpopular, it shows up as a 0% pick rate, and the pick is seemingly so bad that it has a 23% win rate, worse than any champion I've ever seen. So I interviewed this challenger player to see how good it really is, and find out how he still manages to out-jungle challenger players on this insane off-meta pick. But quickly, this video is sponsored by Alienware and their all-new Aurora R13 PC, the official PC of the League of Legends World Championship. If you want lightning fast speed, top of the line graphics, and stable frame rate, the Aurora R13 is for you. This is the PC that I use, as well as some pro teams like Team Liquid, and although I'm pretty good at League of Legends, these guys trust their Alienware wear PCs at the top level of competition, and why wouldn't they when you can get top of the line Nvidia and AMD graphics cards to make sure they never lag in any important moment or crucial team fight? If you need a break from the toxicity of League of Legends, then the R13 can effortlessly run the latest AAA titles in high quality. I've recently been playing the new Forza Horizon, which this PC can handle on full settings with no lag. And unlike me, this PC has no trouble staying alive in Elden Ring, allowing me to see just how bad I am at the the highest level of detail, with Alienware Cryotech technology to help with thermal performance, as well as custom lighting that you can change the colour of. I personally love and recommend the R13, I've been using mine since January, to edit all of my videos and stream, the processing of footage and rendering is so fast, so I can spend more time on being creative, or at least use the fast render times to go to bed a bit earlier, since I always stay up till like 7am finishing these videos. Alienware is a brand with years of history and always really high quality products, so if if you want an upgrade or just want to check them out, click the link in the description below to support me and get your own Aurora R13. Back to Lucian, our player today is named Vakin. Vakin became a challenger player by picking lots of different meta junglers, especially focusing on Gragas and Kane. These picks brought him all the way up to rank 3 on the server, even finishing that season with 3 different accounts in challenger, then even playing on a challenger level amateur team to hone his skills. So he's definitely qualified to judge how viable this pick is. After all of this success he had, he basically reached a new level of competition, playing against super high quality players with everyone tryharding as much as they could every game. But then he would go back to solo queue and build up a string of losses with teammates making terrible decisions, griefing games and flaming each other, so he knew he had to do something different to enjoy solo queue, and couldn't keep forcing himself to play his tryhard champions because it was destroying his mental. So one day, instead of playing his mains, he began to test some new junglers. And and that was when he found Lucian. Why Lucian jungle? Well, this pick isn't good at clearing, it doesn't have any CC for ganking, and it's an AD carry, which is statistically the most fun role for junglers to kill. But Vakin saw something different. Yes, there were negatives, but that just meant it was a pick that enemies would never expect to see. He saw Kindred and how she was able to be a meta jungler, and comparing her to Lucian, they really didn't seem very different. In fact, he thought Lucian's kit might actually be better. Kindred is a squishy AD range champion, with a small amount of mobility and clunky spells, whereas Lucian is also a squishy range champion, but has a spammable dash and much smoother spell rotations, and when you put these together, this champion's really good at outplaying opponents. Lucian jungle had none of the problems of being a bot lane carry, no friendly support to int him, no tanky enemy support to deal with, so in the jungle he could build up his own advantages and outplay situations that AD carries couldn't, like being a level down, 1v2 outplaying an assassin mid laner, smiting a camp to gain more health, and then winning a 1v1. And Vakin wasn't even the first high elo player to start testing this pick. An EU pro jungler named Tinks was testing this pick as well. This guy was also in challenger, so there must be something good about this pick. Although his early game is weak, he scales up into a champion that can burn through enemies with a single ult, or uses multiple dashes to run around enemies and outplay them for really satisfying team fights. The skill cap for Lucian jungle is infinite, but no matter how how strong a champion is later on, none of it is possible without getting through early game. So here is Vakin's special jungle path. He picks where he starts based on where he wants to gank at level 3. Ideally this will be blue buff with a big leash. He starts
starts Q and kites it with auto attacks, and then he can use Q to aggro Gromp through the blue buff, then smiting the buff and turning onto the Gromp to save time, taking W second for maximum damage, as well as extra movement speed, which helps him kite and avoid as much damage as he can. Taking Gromp is vital on squishy junglers like Lucian, as it helps you regen based on the amount of health you're missing. Moving on to Wolves, he's always making sure to use Q through all of the minions for maximum damage. Thanks to the jungle item, if you hit the small ones once, they start to burn, which actually gives you health. This is extra important at Raptors, where he wants to auto one of the small ones so he can kite them upwards, which lines up his Q on all of them. This means they'll be burning and you'll be regenerating while you kill the camp. So by the time you're done with it, Raptors should let you gain health. If you don't do this, then you likely die on this camp and you ruin your clear. But Vakin stays alive, going on to red, now having Smite to finish it off, kiting it around and avoiding hits like a true challenger jungler. If you start red, then the same path works in reverse. Since you can get invaded, you have the option to skip wolves and do Gromp instead, as this lets you keep an eye on your blue buff in case someone tries to steal it. Right away, he looks for a gank. In bot lane, Lucian is normally very strong early on because of your mobility and your damage. So in jungle, it makes sense to use this power. Ganking on Lucian is different to most junglers, as he relies on his damage to kill instead of landing CC, which would set up his teammate. So Lucian waits out of vision, starting the gank with W, which lets him auto attack to get bonus movement speed from the passive, so you can then easily chase, saving your E to follow any dashes, chasing enemies down with auto attacks until they die. Since you're a DPS champion, not a CC utility champion, counter ganking is often better. It's also safer because once enemies have engaged, they've usually used all of their dashes, so they usually won't be able to jump on you as well, letting you safely clean up all of the kills. In any early gank, your goal should be to focus one person, using your press the attack to increase everyone's damage on that target, with Lucian also having triumph to give him a heal so he can stay alive in two versus twos. That's why it's so important to focus one person. Your dash cooldown is also decreased by your passive, so you'll get it back up before enemies. So as long as you quickly kill one person, it's very easy to outplay others. The first power spike that is really important is Noon Quiver. This item gives you the exact stats you need to speed up your jungling, letting you cycle through your camps really quickly, just like a real jungler. You're able to now keep up in XP while still ganking and having good damage. But level 6 is where this pick becomes legitimate. It's always a big power spike for you in bot lane, but in jungle, you now have a long range ganking tool. Your ultimate can do around 700 damage at rank 1, so if you can land most of the bullets, it should be an easy kill. It's especially easy to gank lanes with no flash, because you can match their movements and trap them inside the bullets, or follow their dashes with your own. Your ganks now become a lot safer. With this long range high damage ability, you don't even need to be near enemies to basically get a kill without being in any danger. If Lucian opens a gank with his ultimate, the enemy must flash away or they'll get followed by a ton of bullets. Vakin loves to tower dive with this ability because he doesn't even need to be under turret for it to be hitting, using ultimate and then dashing into tower range to collect the kill. And then his next item is Gale Force. This again makes your ganking much better. You have much more mobility to reach enemies and it basically invalidates any dash that they have. Lucian is already pretty mobile thanks to his dash, but this massively extends your range, as well as extending your damage thanks to the active. So even though you have no CC, the mobility and the damage completely makes up for it. Vakin thinks these power spikes are so important that he has built his runes around getting them faster, taking Future's Market and Magical Footwear. Basing with Future's Market, he's able to cheat ahead and get Noon Quiver and Gale Force earlier, which gives him an extra lead in every play that he makes. These items are pretty hard to save up for, but this rune and lets you take much more efficient bases. Instead of backing for a longsword and some attack speed, you can now base for the full component, and then the next base can just be for Gale Force, making you more efficient and wasting no time. In mid game, his ganking is much better, unlike with most junglers, where if you dodge their CC, you're able to dodge the gank. Playing against a Lucian is completely different, as no matter what, he can always keep chasing you. So to set up ganks, Vakin sits out of vision in a bush, throwing W out of the bush, autoing for movement speed, red smite to reduce their damage, dashing forwards with E, using Q and finishing them off with ult, making sure you weave in auto attacks between each of them, otherwise you'll waste a ton of damage. Lots of people play Lucian like a caster, ignoring the potential of his auto attacks. Sure, using his Q is very satisfying, but really your abilities are all set up for your auto attacks, as well as reducing the cooldown of your E so you can stay mobile. Vakin says it's important to not ignore these parts of your kit. If you're not using all of the autos, it will be like playing Zaya but not using any of the feathers, so he recommends testing out your combos 
in practice tool to see that you can use abilities while your autos travel, which lets you do things like use your E while your W auto attacks are mid-air, which means the dash cooldown immediately gets decreased. Or you can do things like cancelling your ultimate to let you auto attack and finish off enemies slightly faster, as well as using Gale Force for a finisher as its undodgeable burst damage, which is great at the end of your combo. Thanks to this high damage combo, anytime you surprise someone, you're likely to get a kill. This is not a tier Lucian who farms and scales up. This build wants to 1v1 as much as possible. Even in teamfights your goal is quite similar. You want an enemy to die for you, so that you can use your dash and your gale force to kite them out, turning it around, isolating them, and letting you kill them. After you've forced this 1v1, you're able to dash forwards and use your auto damage to finish off the rest of the fight. The other option you have is following up on your team's CC, using your ult early on to shred enemies and just put down as much damage as you can. Your champion has lots of tools, you have E, you have Flash, and you have Gale Force. So since you're so squishy, you need to save at least one of them for any big threat, for example a Leona or a Malphite ultimate. If these abilities are still available, then Lucian's job is not DPSing, his job is staying alive. Picking up Armor Pen with Shrelda's Grudge, any time someone walks on your screen, with just your ultimate alone, you have enough damage to completely 100 to 0 any squishy champion. So instead of forcing fights, you can look for picks like an assassin. With your dash and your gale force, it's very easy to catch up to people. But then late game, since you're a low range AD carry, killing towers isn't your specialty. So instead, Vakin decides to deny enemy jungle camps over and over. The way he wins games is by reducing the enemy jungler's income while increasing his own, which means that any fight they take should be a free win since he gets so far ahead. But this pick does have some problems, especially in Challenger. This pick is very hard to win games with if you get to late game. The role of your champion is specifically to be a damage carry, but you don't have any tankiness or CC, so your team may lack utility. So in lots of situations, Challenger enemies just have more tools than you do to win fights. If you're not in Challenger, this will be completely fine and you can still carry games. But against these really good players, they can outplay you with macro, they can position away from your damage, or they can one-shot you before you have time to respond. So it's impressive this guy hasn't just lost every game. As well as this, there are some matchups like Lee Sin, Viego, or Rengar that can burst you down early game as well as one-shot you in fights, which makes Lucian jungle very hard to play. But on the other hand, you do have much better early game than lots of meta junglers, especially the ones that like to farm, so you can force early aggressive plays while they're still clearing their jungle, and use that big early lead to win games. Realistically, Lucian jungle is a damage amplifier. He wants to play with aggressive champions on his team and back them up. The champions that are usually your enemies, like diving top laners, are now your best friends. So overall, this pick is definitely usable. I think it shows there are many more junglers in League that we even know about. Sure, some of the picks will struggle with certain parts of the role, but then they will excel massively in other parts. So if you want a high mechanic mobile AD champion that can gank at long range, then Lucian works. In many ways, he's just like an AD version of Nidalee, using a long range ability to get enemies low, and then dashing in with your burst to finish them off. Here is his special build and runes, going Red Smite for safety and Gale Force for first item. He usually buys plated steel caps or mercury treads or even cooldown reduction boots. If you use your combos correctly, you don't really need attack speed to win fights. With Essence Reaver into Shrelders and Infinity Edge for maximum damage, having the options for some safety as well if you need them. There's also another build which is slightly better if you're against tankier champions, as Kraken Slayer is just way better than Gale Force if you're against a frontline, but it's not ideal because it does limit which plays you can make. For his runes, press the attack for maximum early game damage, and the Futures Market's gold saving runes in his secondaries. Vakin streams his Challenger games on Twitch, where you can see all of the other picks he's trying to invent. Link to that as well as our sponsor Alienware is in the the description. Thanks so much for watching!